we've taken on my son as a squire. So hopefully he can get some better. Force rain to train. I might actually get a new courtier because a lot of my courtiers aren't very good. So we're going to hire a new one. Uh, what sort of man do we want at court? A massless warrior, a holy man, a young debutant, debutant, more. <laughs> um, ooh, I this this wasn't in before actually. I this wasn't in the last version of the game. This is quite cool. Like you have to pay a lot of gold for that. You have to pay. You have to lose piety and pay gold. You have to just pay a little bit of gold. I like this. is quite cool actually. I'm just going to look through actually because I don't know how much they'll cost and stuff. Just gold. And it's always Tyrek. There's always they're always named Tyrek, so you just have different stats, I guess. And mangled with words. Okay, so all these are just money now. Okay, it goes back. Okay, what puzzle person do I want? Is it Tyrek for De Bottom? <laughs> That'd be quite stupid. Um my council is pretty rubbish as it is. We want someone good as steward. Yeah, we'll get someone good with money. Uh, are you married? No, we should probably get you married. Because you're not too bad at um, intrigue. Okay. They're all terrible. Uh, they're all terrible. Okay, we'll wait for the new guy to come, I think. And we'll see what he's like. I should probably check. Let's check what he's like. Maybe he was already there. I didn't see him. Tyrek. 15 stewardship. Okay. My ward daemon is, in, uh, my ward daemon is inquisitive and asks so many questions it is hard to answer them all. I try my best, but for every answer I give, daemon seems to like me even more. I think that we've become friends. Ah, It's always good to be friends with your son. But let's just marry you to that girl. Hopefully your children will get both your stats. Okay, I've got a few young people. Wow, she's quite good. <laughs> and you're pregnant? You're not even married. You whore. That, what a hussy. Gah. I'd like you to get married. There was no one else really at court I thought was quite good to get married. But I guess we got a couple. We got we got a few girls getting a bit old, so we probably should marry them. Just because. Huh. Let's have a look at my court. Because they could give me some kids. They may not be very good, but they might give me some kids who are good. Uh. Jana. Wow, she's quite, she's quite a good military leader. That's quite random. See, I'll leave you because you're quite young, actually. Let's leave you. Let's, uh... What would be the best way to go about this? I'll just pick a random guy. Why did I click on him? I knew he was married. Okay, I'll we'll pick on you. Just so I can look at the girls and I can look which one is good to get married. 27, she probably needs to get married. Uh, she's pregnant. Yeah, we'll get her married. And then we'll see who we can marry her to. We married her someone her okay. Um. Wait, didn't you have a? What? Didn't I marry you to someone? I guess maybe she died. Maybe she'd marry you again. There we go. I'm sure I got married to someone. Okay. Obviously, yeah, and also the pains are obviously the um, ancestors. Of uh, Podrick Payne. Or Pod, as people mostly call him. It's interesting when you think that Podrick is obviously of the same family as Illum Payne. <laughs> they're like complete opposite. Well, maybe not necessarily opposites, but they are definitely different types of people. I've actually found that a lot of people from the TV show are quite liking Pod, actually. Okay, looks like he's managed to hold his own. 3% uh, in favour against the Trident. Okay. It looks like things have gone well for them. Oh no, the North is actually independent. 
claim okay so the barrel lands actually claiming the north wow this is going to be odd king baron of the north wow i can't believe he actually won so the north is independent how did that happen and his brother actually died died in battle Eight, okay he died ages ago wow was it you actually i think it was him wasn't it yes because he has eyes okay so he was actually he obviously lost um there's obviously a war against him to put him on the throne okay king baron uh, there's no okay military leader but yeah it looks like they're independent for now what was a king beyond the wall what try to encourage me to turn against my liege lord uh paramount tybalt this shameless act cannot go unpunished and to stop further interference i have just decided to imprison your massive laws for an indefinite period of time you son of a outrageous how dare you imprison a rain man Oh, he's not. He's not a rain, but I mean, he's a rain man. Isn't like my man. Um, I've recently, I received word that your master of laws was trying to agitate the nobles of my realm. Oh dear! By spreading lies about me in Castle Rock. Rest assured, this outrageous behaviour would not stand. Oh dear. Ha! Huh, that's not good. I mean, he didn't like me anyway. But yeah, that's not good. Ha! Huh. That is not good. <laughs> and he's now gone. He's in jail. Well, I guess you can have it off then. We'll get you to do something else. Uh, improve relations. Let's improve relations with the Lannisters. What would it obviously? I know what you're thinking. You know, that's a silly thing. Oh, and the war is over. But the North remains independent. Okay. The, the wars between the great powers and Westeros have subsided for now. So it looks like the North has gained independence. Um, yep, I'm a knight. We already knew that. And let's go for direct vassals. And obviously we can see that the North is independent. That's quite cool. So where are the barrel lands? Okay, they're fighting still. Has founded the Captain General Aegir for the Iron Throne faction. Ooh, so he wants to put Aegir Bittersteel on the throne. That's an interesting idea. He's definitely a good warrior. Wow. This is quite cool. I like the fact that people are using the Golden Company. <laughs> As you know, you know, the the Blackfires, obviously, when they lost the rebellion, they fought. They went across to Essios and formed... The Black Company. The Golden Company, sorry. What the Black Company? The Golden Company. Uh, Garth Rain. You need someone to teach you. Okay. I'm probably the best to teach you. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, or my wife. My wife actually might be quite good as well. Because she's a bit better than me at um, stewardship and learning. And she's, you know, you're weak anyway. So I'm four better diplomacy and she's three better than me at that. This is four better at that. I'm going to go my wife. Um, she's so ambitious and she's diligent. And just. And honest. Let's go with my wife. My wife can teach him. Plus also there's a good chance he might inherit the Serret lands. And, uh, come on please. Yes. Yes. Okay. I feel there's a good chance he's not going to have a kid. That'd really be upsetting. Ooh. Okay. Lord Robin of South Crackle Point has declared the Iron Friend Civil War to learn Crown Authority. And it looks like we've joined the side of the rebels. Huh. That doesn't look a good idea to me. The Lannis is obviously, you know, Titus is definitely against the king. He really wants to try and weaken his rule. Undermine him, but it does not seem to be working. And he's picking bad times, you know. He may have good stats and stuff and be very competent, but he's really bad at timing, shall we say. He just jumps straight in. He doesn't wait. Uh, unlike the North and the Riverlands, who actually were quite smart about it. 
and he's getting me and my men involved. Hopefully he doesn't bring me up to lead the men. Actually, what are the laws like here? <coughs> Sorry. Um, ah, there we go. He's managed to make him see me as a better ruler. That's good. Thank you. Feudal levies and stuff. Okay, we'll keep it as it is. What's it like in the Westlands? Medium crown authority. Ooh, that's quite high. Ah. She has not had a kid yet. So it's still, um, whether the Aarons will inherit. Ooh. I'll look at that in a second. I'll finish what I was going to say. But Lord Paramount Pier, if she does have a kid, the Riverlands will be inherited by the Aarons. But so far, she hasn't seen another kid. He hasn't been able to do his duty. Huh, I wonder what ha why that's happened. Okay, who's? why is her heir Lady Marissa? Why is it not her brother? Is he a bastard? No. It looks as though her brother is taken out of the inheritance. Huh. Perrine Tully. Um, yeah, Perrine Tully. Who the hell's Perrine Tully? <laughs> she has a lover. Oh my god. The Septon. The Septon is her lover. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, that is one holy Septon. Why is Lady Marissa the inheritor? Oh well, not even going to question that. But let's go see what's going on here then. How did you die? Died of poor physique. <laughs> and his brother, King Regal, a mad lunatic Targaryen, chaste, content, kind, and shy, and weak. Ooh, look at those stats. This is not good for the Targaryens. Very weak king. Very weak king. Dad's not great. And his son, Prince Aena. He's not particularly good either. Okay stewardship, but overall he's not adequate. What's his other son like? Prince Harry's. He's basically like his brother. Very similar. This is not looking good for the Targaryens. The king is dead. Long live the king! My beloved wife, Melissa, is constantly bored and keeps... She wants me to introduce her at court. Uh, my money's your money, darling. Okay, let's see how this war's going to go then. It looks as though no one's joined the side of the Iron Throne. Uh, ah. Joyce of Small Place offers to teach you a game called Chavez that she learned from some Essios merchants at the inn. Ah. Uh, she's spending too much time with foreigners. I'll be delighted to test my wits in this game. Uh, I'll go to the inn, study the game in secret. I'm quite proud, so um, I'll be delighted. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a go. We'll test our wits. We're better than her, obviously. I'm a vain. I'll win this easily. Your finger's starting to get the hang of Cerise. Joyce wants to challenge you to a game. I'll play circles around her. You were sure that Joyce was luring you into a trap? It seemed impossible that she hadn't seen the hole in her defence. But you struck, and it won you the game. It was a good game. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> okay. Um... Gain 10 prestige. We're just given that, so minus 20, and we could gain a wrath. Gain humble and 10%. Uh, 10 prestige is not a big thing. Um, I'm going to go who'd say in your face. Because he's not going to be. You know, that, that's more of a humble thing, isn't it? He's not humble, he's proud. Um, he's ambitious. You know, He's a rain. He's going to be like, why the hell did you even challenge me? I'm so much better than you. Of small place. Okay. In your face. And she's got pregnant. Oh, good for her. Okay. Like I said, I particularly myself haven't really done much this uh, in this so far. But we're, we're getting there. We've built a nice family now. Once these guys have gotten older, we can marry them, get some good alliances. And we could be in a strong position, particularly if her brother does not have a kid. If her brother does not have a kid... We will be in a great position. There's a new king. He has now been crowned. King Rhaegal I of House Targaryen. He's no king of mine. At the moment, it's not going well for him. No one has joined him. It doesn't look like. Probably because, you know, they don't 
Ooh, minus, 30, minus 83 percent. Sorry, it's not going well for us. What the hell am I talking about? Okay. The Lord Palmer has been released. Okay, so it was good to him, even though he's a lunatic. The last thing I'd want to be captured by is a lunatic. You have no idea what that he would do. <laughs> King Willem of Tendring has joined the Liege Loyalist faction. Okay. Okay, so everything's starting to get a bit more peaceful. Invite to participate in the tourney of Thorak. Uh, seeing as you're my vassal, uh, we'll, we'll come and shoot. We have, we'll, we'll come. We haven't joined a tourney yet, so it'll be quite nice to go. I am a knight after all, and it'll probably be quite good for my ward. I decided to institute the limited crown authority law in the kingdom of the Iron Throne. Huh. I don't really trust you, so I'm going to ignore. Don't trust a lunatic. Don't want to give him more power. <laughs> My son Damon was bitten by a snake this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. That's my lad. Yeah, that's my lad. He's a rain. He should be strong. Okay. Okay, apparently we've approved the institution of limited crown authority. That is, yeah, probably not the best decision. He's only 30, wow. He's still quite young. Ah, it looks as though Tybalt Lannis has become Castellian for Rhaegal Targaryen. So the man who just rebelled against him, he's now made him Hand of the King. Okay. I personally wouldn't have chosen him, but... Huh. So the Lannisters are getting more influential. Then again, like I say, he's a very confident ruler. Um, comp He's a very confident ruler. How the Greyjoys doing? How did his son turn out? Yeah, he didn't turn out so good, did he? Oh, he's a bit of a craven. Okay. Probably won't see them rebelling. We advanced forth into the melee, but then I saw our foes, and suddenly my bowels loosened and guts turned to water. My comrades all looked on me in disgust. My cheeks burned in shame. No! We've gained the craven trait. That's not good. Oh well. Damn, it's taking my marshal down. That's not good. Ooh, he's not getting too bad at his marshal. Maybe I should get him to train. What was that? Uh, Lord Orpha the Peregrine has declared his war for the Vale. Okay. So the Arons are trying to gain back the Veil. Why is he not giving it to anyone? Whoa, what's going on? I felt my armor was strong and my training was first rate. Sadly, it failed. I felt the icy chill as the steel carved into my flesh. My, my eyes grew heavy and sight grew dim. Then I died. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I died in a tawny. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I should never have gone to that tourney. Are you, are you bloody kidding me? Reynold, you've been doing so well. You'd managed to avoid combat. You got some good kids and oh, you, you, sick, you piss me off. A love and marriage ends with my death. It was a good ride those bloody four kids, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is... Bloody annoying. New master of coin. Uh, Tyrek. Uh, Andros is probably better. But we're, we're keeping his it for now because we want to keep my vassals happy. Obviously when, my, you're the, when the lord dies, it's a good time for when your vassals might rebel. So we'll keep them happy. Okay, so Garth needs someone to look after him. God damn. Oh, my mother's gone, hasn't she? That son of a bitch. Huh. That is not good. Not good indeed. Okay. 
So what's going on here then? So where is my mother? <laughs> She's gone to Silver Hall. Yeah, she is there. Okay. Can you educate your son? Yes. Uh, yeah, I want to, to educate him still. Because she was doing it anyway. I want to continue that. Plus he's got a good chance he'll actually inherit that place. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah, she didn't join because I'm not actually her son. That's probably why she didn't come along. Yeah, she's still not pregnant. Come on, just die. Tywin, just die. <laughs> you know you you know you want to die. Yeah, I've got to wait for that. This is bloody annoying. I can't believe he died. Right, so yeah, we've got Garth going to her. And I need someone to look after me. Bloody annoying. Everything was going to plan. Uh, I need to be a good fighter, so I can't have Offal teach me. That's not my best stat. Um, I'm going to go with Lyman. Yep. He's technically better than Garen. Yep, we're going to go him. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. That has put a wrench in my works. It's not, you know, it's not like really bad. It's just slightly annoying. And it means I pretty much can't do much at the moment in time. So Offal is a regent, so he's basically in charge. Master of Laws. Stressed, diligent, kind, craven, deceitful, and, and authoritative, and a mystic. So he's much more likely to do like assassinations and stuff. Uh, these are the people I grew up with. I feel we bonded over the years, and there's no one there. No friends for you, Damon. Damon the second. God damn. 